As you've heard from the educators, I want to echo as president of the East Area Progressive Democrats, a thriving democratic club representing the diverse communities of our greater east side of Los Angeles and adjoining communities. About 20% of our members are here in the 43rd district, many of them here in the city of Glendale. We are here today to speak out against this effort to buy this assembly seat because of the pattern the pattern of outside influence that we have seen trying to influence and trying to purchase legislative power in California. This is the latest effort to do so, and we see it in the context of secret money, of corporate money, and an effort to suppress progressive Democrats in our effort to have honest representation for the communities that we serve and the communities where we are active. We do not believe that all charter schools are bad, but what we are seeing going on with the misbegotten misuse of money and the misleading political messaging coming from the California Charter Schools Association is not only deplorable, it undermines our system of public education and it is a betrayal of the original purpose of charter schools to provide experimentation and to provide innovation in our public education system. They are doing themselves no favors in their effort to buy this election and to discredit the charter schools movement and the movement towards entrepreneurship and innovation in our public education system. To have this going on through this Trojan horse is tragic and terrible and we are here today to say it must stop. Our members stand united on behalf of Ardi Kasakian. We also stand strongly for openness and transparency in governance and for honesty in our elections and in openness in the origins of money in our democracy. We've seen this before and again, we call upon one of the few institutions and professionals who are in a position to overcome some of the imbalances that this outside money is seeking to create, to put the information squarely before voters, that is the press. That is trained media professionals and the obligation there is to report on this issue and to call the origins of this dark outside money for what it is, an effort to wrongly sway democracy and buy an assembly seat. Our club stands here today united with our educators in support of our public education system and we will stand here all the way through election day, not just on June 7th, but through November 8th, not just for Ardi Kasakian, but to stand up for our system of public education, which we see under attack through misbegotten outside money bombs like this uh, independent expenditure. Thank you very much. Our next speaker today is the assembly candidate himself, the subject of this outside targeting, Artie Kasakian, longtime city clerk here in the city of Glendale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Do I need this? No. Sevak? No. no, I don't need it. I do? Yeah. It's going directly to there too. Okay. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. I want to thank everyone who actually made it out today for this very important conference, press conference, talk to the media. And I'd like to first thank the parents, teachers, uh, employees, residents, all the concerned citizens who urged us. They said, Artie, it's enough is enough. We have to speak out. We know that elections can be tough. And we know that if you get into this, you have to have tough skin. But when there are lies, when there is misrepresentation, I stand with the people behind me in saying it's time to speak out and set the record straight. Now, what today is about and what these people have done is they've shown up. This is all about showing up and showing up to vote is something that I have passionately advocated for throughout the years, and especially during my proud tenure as a city clerk of Glendale and as its chief elections official because I recognize the danger of what happens when we don't show up. When we don't show up, that's when special interests think they can come out to our doorsteps and force their agendas on us. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what is happening today in our assembly district. That's exactly what is happening in the 43rd assembly district as we see this race shaping up. You and I, the people who live here today, the people who call the 43rd Assembly District home versus Laura Friedman 
and her undemocratic big money special interests like the Charter School Association and her high priced political consultants, their slick ads coming in from outside the district to literally buy and pay for her campaign. Let me give you a glimpse of what this looks like. The latest financial disclosure statements available as of yesterday, the latest financial disclosure statements have shown that outside special interests have poured money into supporting Laura Friedman to the tune of $1 million. $1 million has already been spent on this race. $1 million to work against our teachers and our public schools. $1 million so that she will represent the special interests instead of the interests of our students and families. We are here today to say that we will stand up for the right of every child in our district to have fair and equal access to a decent education. We are here today to show we support our teachers and educators in that mission. We are here today to show that we stand for democracy and won't let special interests into our backyard to buy the 43rd Assembly District seat. That's the difference that you will see from me. I pledge to my, and my primary mission will always be to represent our citizens, the citizens and residents and stakeholders of the 43rd Assembly District, the public interest and not the special interest. Let's stand up for a democracy together, united together, we can make sure our system of government works for all of us and not just for some of us. Thank you very much. So with that,